Once Plato praised Aristotle in these words, Aristotle is the mind of, the academy, Aristotle was a Greek philosopher during the classical period in ancient Greece. He got education from Plato and established famous, the Lysem, the peripatetic school of philosophy, and the Aristotelian tradition. His writings cover many branches of knowledge like physics, biology, zoology, metaphysics, logic, ethics, aesthetics, poetry, theater, music, rhetoric, psychology, linguistics, economics, politics, and government. Aristotle's views on physical science profoundly shaped medieval scholarship. His philosophical work has great influence on Western philosophical thoughts. He influenced Islamic thought during the Middle Ages, as well as Christian theology, especially the Neo-Platonism of the early church and the scholastic tradition of the Catholic Church. Aristotle was revered among medieval Muslim scholars as, the first teacher, and among medieval Christians like Thomas Aquinas as simply, the philosopher. Life and Education Aristotle was born in 384 BC in Stagira and died in 322 in Euboea. His name means, the best purpose, in ancient Greek. Aristotle's parents died when he was about 13. At the age of 17 or 18, Aristotle reached at Plato's The Academy. He remained in Athens for nearly 20 years till Plato's death in 348 BC. He thought Alexander the Great for some time. He established his own school with the name of, the Lyceum, at Athens about 335 BC. Aristotle wrote many books and articles. His most important treatises include physics, metaphysics, Nicomachean ethics, politics, on the soul and poetics. Aristotle studied and made significant contributions to, logic, metaphysics, mathematics, physics, biology, botany, ethics, politics, agriculture, medicine, dance and theater. Aristotle was greatly inspired by Plato. All of his education was the reflection of Plato in shape of thesis or antithesis. Work, books, ideas and contribution. Theory of four causes. Aristotle initially claimed that everything was made up of five elements. Earth, fire, air, water, and ether. Aristotle is also famous for his, four causes, which explain the nature of change in an object. Material cause, it is determined by the material of which the thing is made. Formal cause, it is determined by the form, arrangement, shape and essence the thing is made of. Efficient cause, it is determined by an external agent or force. Final cause, it is determined by the final aim or purpose that the thing is serving. Teleology, according to Aristotle everything has teleology. Teleology is a purpose behind everything in nature. This teleology is final cause of everything. All things have been created for its teleology or final purpose. Axioms Aristotle believed that when trying to determine the fundamental nature of reality, the only place to begin was with basic axioms. One such axiom was the principle of non-contradiction, which states that a substance cannot have a quality and not have that same quality at the same time. Aristotle would use this concept not only as an important beginning point for natural philosophy and metaphysics but also for the basis of symbolic logic, which he was the first to establish. Even though an axiom can't be proven, it is something that we assume to be true because it seems to be self-evident, and this allows us to move forward in establishing an argument. Logic through symbolic logic with Aristotle, we had our first attempt to evaluate validity in reasoning. If, for instance, all insects are invertebrates, is our first premise and, all invertebrates are animals, is our second premise, then our conclusion that, all insects are animals, is a valid conclusion because it follows from the premises. This has nothing to do with the truthfulness of the premises. If we substituted the first premise for, all birds are invertebrates, and the conclusion, all birds are animals, the logic is still valid regardless of the fact that the first premise is false. In this case, we still get a true conclusion even though we have a false premise, and in this way Aristotle had proven that reasoning is separate from the truthfulness of the premises being considered. A logical argument could have false premises and a true conclusion, but true premises would always lead to a true conclusion. Eudaimonia and Virtues, the concept of Aristotle's theory of golden mean is represented in his work called Nicomachean Ethics, in which Aristotle explains the origin, nature and development of virtues which are essential for achieving the ultimate goal, 
happiness eudaimonia, which must be desired for itself. Aristotle thought that the goal of human beings in their search for happiness was to reach eudaimonia, or a state of flourishing. He agreed with Plato that virtue did not necessarily lead to a better life, but he did think that in order to achieve a true state of eudaimonia, aiming for virtue was necessary. Aristotle thought that the way to identify a virtue was that it was a middle ground between two vices in opposite directions. For instance, temperance was identified by Aristotle as a virtue, and the very definition of this term implies taking things in moderation. While virtue ethics has come back in vogue, it is under contention what exactly key virtues are. Aristotle's virtues are temperance, justice, fortitude, courage, liberality, magnificence, and magnanimity. Some philosophers might simply replace a term that they find too vague, such as justice, with a term they find more specific, like fairness. Others might insist on replacing certain virtues with entirely different ones. Political ideas of Aristotle. Man is a political animal. The source of Aristotle's political ideas is his book, Politics. Aristotle observes, human beings are creatures of flesh and blood, rubbing shoulders with each other in cities and communities. Like his work in zoology, Aristotle's political studies combine observation and theory. He and his students documented the constitutions of 158 states, one of which, the Constitution of Athens, has survived on papyrus. The aim of the politics, Aristotle says, is to investigate, on the basis of the constitutions collected, what makes for good government and what makes for bad government and to identify the factors favorable or unfavorable to the preservation of a constitution. According to Aristotle their sixth type of government which he described in his book, Politics. Aristotle says government must be in the hands of one, of a few, or of the many, and governments may govern for the general good or for the good of the rulers. Government by a single person for the general good is called, monarchy, for private benefit, tyranny. Government by a minority is, aristocracy, if it aims at the state's best interest and, oligarchy, if it benefits only the ruling minority. Popular government in the common interest Aristotle calls, polity, he reserves the word, democracy, for anarchic mob rule. Aristotle's influence and contribution. The 19th century German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche has been said to have taken nearly all of his political philosophy from Aristotle. More than 2,300 years after his death, Aristotle remains one of the most influential people who ever lived. He contributed to almost Criticism every field of, the of social human knowledge contract then theory. in existence, we must, and he was the founder of many new two fields. chief aspects. As According to the philosopher Gilchrist Brian says about this theory, it is doubtful as a theory whether any of the human being has ever known as much as he did. As a theory of political Aristotle's obligation. views on Although physical the historical science profoundly explanation shaped this theory is scholarship. quite false, his yet influence much can be extended in from late antiquity and the early Middle Ages into the Renaissance. Merits Some of, the of Aristotle's zoological theory. observations ah, found in his biology, is mainly such as on the hectic reproductive some arm elements of, the of truth, were First disbelieved until the 19th century. It emphasizes the fact that the state is a his human institution and not a divine creation study more than of logic. This. It lays by stress medieval on scholars one such as Peter Abelard and John Dury. The rests on the consent of the government. Aristotle's it influence on that logic role, also forced her divine well sanction into the 19th is the century. basis of the state. He by emphasizing the elements during the Middle Ages, it has ushered in the era of modern democracy, especially the neo-Platonism of the early could choose the, the government by their own free of the choice Catholic and will. Church. This is the essence Among of political obligation of a citizen Aristotle of the modern state. Aristotle was the founder of formal logic, the pioneer of the study of theology, may not be and left every future scientist and philosopher it is the in his death through his contributions to the scientific method. Of all the philosophies method. of the state, to Nelly Kukunen, the proper writing in the classical of the relations observes that his achievement in founding two sciences is unmatched. This theory combated the claims of irresponsible of intellectual privilege classes, including Western ethical and political theory of the divine right of kings. Rhetoric and literary and value lies in its refutation long. of absolutism As a result, and its support Kukunen for democracy. Argues, any the origin analysis of modern reality today is to be traced from the writings of the social contract overtones, evidence of an exceptionally forceful mind. Jonathan Barnes wrote that, an account of Aristotle's intellectual afterlife would be little less than a history of European thought, 